Hello and welcome. My name is Elisha Dun Giorgio, and I'm the president and CEO of Global Health Council. At GHC, we envision a world where health and well being for all is ensured through equitable, inclusive, and sustainable investments, policies, and services. And we are thrilled to have you join us so that we can work together to improve global health and well being for everyone's benefit. GHC members, more than 120 of you, include associations and coalitions, corporations, foundations, NGOs, academic institutions, and think tanks. Collectively, our members work across 150 countries and focus on a broad range of global health issues. Everything from antimicrobial resistance, to climate and digital health, to tuberculosis, vaccines, and WASH, everything in between. We focus on specific disease areas like HIV, AIDS, and malaria, as well as cross-cutting issues like frontline health workers, global health security, and health system strengthening. In recent years, GHC has analyzed the broader environment to determine where we can best bring value to global health. We have identified four cross-cutting areas where the GHC Secretariat can best bring added value to our membership and the field of global health. There are six members of the GHC staff. As a member, you will likely have an opportunity to work with all of us at some point. In the meantime, thank you once again for being a part of this community. I am Alisa Loach, the Senior Manager for Membership and Development at Global Health Council. I am so glad you're here and I'm excited to share with you how you can take full advantage of your GHC membership. GHC's work can be broken down into three categories. As a member, you can play a critical role in any or all of these three areas. GHC works across global health sectors to achieve the greatest impact. We help members connect advocacy strategies across health areas and align messaging to communicate clearly and effectively with policymakers. GHC provides our members with a variety of resources, including information and analysis on global health programs and policies. We also provide access to high level events like the World Health Assembly and member only town halls with US and global decision makers. GHC amplifies and promotes the work of our members to expand awareness about the amazing work and also elevate critical global health messages to improve policies and resources. Now, there are several ways you can participate in GHC's advocacy efforts. For example, you might join our exclusive member-only roundtables based on your issue area. Currently, we have about six roundtables, including budget and appropriations, multilateral engagement, global health security, maternal, newborn, and child health, health system strengthening, and non-communicable diseases. These roundtables bring members together to advocate for effective global health policies and resources. Through our roundtables, members can share information, align messaging, and coordinate efforts across the GHC community. Members co-chair these roundtables for a two-year term. During the recruitment period, we encourage you to consider stepping up to chair one of them. The roundtables meet once a month. Each roundtable has its own dedicated email listserv to ensure that communication is flowing even between regular meetings. In addition to your primary contact, you have up to five additional employees from your organization who can receive this GHC member benefits. We also encourage you to be a part of the development of our Global Health Briefing Book, which comes out every other year. This document, which is driven by member contributions, is a resource for Hill staff and Congress on issues involving U.S. engagement in global health and is intended to support well-informed decision-making. When each new edition is first published, GHC members join together 
to participate in in-person or virtual meetings on the Hill, socializing the report and its contents with new and returning members of Congress. In addition to the briefing book, we have a library of thought leadership on our website, which provides background and context on a lot of issues that we work on. And that includes the four cross-cutting issues that Elisha referenced earlier. I encourage you to take a look and consider how this material might support your organization's advocacy and outreach. You can also sign onto letters to US global health decision makers that call for sound, strong global health policies and resources. GHC and our members often take the lead on drafting and circulating these letters and help to drive community support. You will also receive our monthly newsletters, which serve to keep you updated on critical global health and policy issues so that you can stay up to speed on everything you need to know to be an, ad an effective global health advocate. So another important aspect of GHC's work is providing access for our members to high level US government and multilateral officials to enhance constructive dialogue. In addition to attending large global convenings, we often host members only events, exclusive webinars and networking opportunities where you can talk with one another as well as partners, donors and the larger global health advocacy community. As an organization in official relations with World Health Organization and an ECOSOC accredited organization with the United Nations, GHC and its members can actively participate in WHO and UN convenings. As an example, each year, GHC leads a delegation of our members in drafting statements for the World Health Assembly. Our delegation also represents our coalition in person in Geneva at various meetings, briefings, plenaries, and side events throughout the assembly. GHC also serves as the Global North Civil Society representative on the Pandemic Fund Board. We've also been appointed to the WHO Civil Society Commission, and we also serve as the Global North Civil Society representative on the UHC 2030 Steering Committee. Throughout the year, GHC convenes events on timely and relevant issues, raising awareness and providing members with an opportunity to talk about challenges and identify potential solutions. Members have access to our Global Health Landscape Symposium, which brings together hundreds of global health policy and program experts to facilitate thoughtful discussions, answer pressing questions, and plan to address challenges. We also host quarterly social gatherings, which provide a great chance to network and catch up on the latest updates in the global health community. We also host community building events around major global health convenings such as the World Health Assembly and the United Nations General Assembly, among others. We want to ensure that all our members learn about one another and about the important work each of you are doing. And so we do this by shining a light and amplifying the work of each of our members' respective efforts. We would love to highlight your organization through our Member Spotlight blog, which is also featured in our monthly newsletter and promoted on social media in the homepage of our website. If there is a key global health issue that you want to bring greater awareness to among GHC members and partners, you can co-host a webinar with GHC. Let us help drive participation to your public events by adding them to the GHC's master calendar of upcoming global health meetings. And be sure to share your content with us on your programs and initiatives so that we can amplify it on our social media platforms as well. I do hope we have provided you with the information and resources you need to fully take advantage of your involvement with GHC. If there's anything else you need or any new ideas to take our work further, 
please reach out to me or any of our team members. We are so excited to have you as part of our community and we are eager to work with you to achieve critical global health goals. Thank you.